If we're looking for energy in midfield, which I think the manager is, from what we've been talking to him about, and uh, a new signing today with that in mind, I guess. Yeah, I thought they looked a bit short, a bit flat, actually, in midfield previously. And he is a creative player as well. Arsenal have made two changes. Pedicek starts in goal. Hector Bellerin plays with Monreal in the full-back positions. Santi Cazorla comes in for Meza Ozil, who's injured. Danny Welbeck is the sole striker today. Quite a few changes for Paris Saint-Germain. In goal, Kevin Trapp. Marquinhos starts with Thiago Silva as the centre-backs. Julian Draxler plays with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. Edison Cavani is the main striker today. Well, we're still calling them Paris Saint-Germain. Alan, I know there's a big move afoot within the club to be called Paris FC. They want to simplify their name. Now, there is in the lower levels of uh, French football a Paris FC already, so I don't know how they're going to work that out. But PSG still for us. Yeah, and a team now that's consistently uh, challenging at the top of European football and long overdue, really, because Paris has been punching beneath his weight for a long time. Well read by the defender. Free kick only from the referee, nothing more sinister than that. Coccola. Chiaca. Nacho Monreal. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Sanchez! It's a big moment in a big match. The opening goal. Well, in a game that's been tight, who knows how decisive that might be. The goal from Alexis, and there was a gap to the keeper's left, and he found that with real power. Another angle on it here. Open the scoring 1-0 here. Number seven, Alexis. Gregor Strikovia. Francis Kokola. Here in the final, we've got this trophy in this Asian competition up for grabs. And two teams that have just developed their styles. Talked a lot about the fitness, Alan, haven't we? But also they've experimented in the shape of the team with the future maybe more serious competition in mind. Yeah, well, that's what pre-season is for, quite often, as well as gaining match fitness. It's about experimentation. And you also have to take into account the time difference for some of these European sides coming over to Asia. You have to get used to that as well. Defender to it first. Rikoviak! That's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite, though. Edison Cavani. He's in strongly. Now he's looking for support. Sanchez. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. It was nicely worked until that point when it broke down. And now they've got to try and regain possession. Gregor Krikowiak. Doing well to keep the ball. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Nacho Monreal. Santi Cazola. Sanchez. Danny Welbeck. Good position, they've worked this attack very well. Goalkeeper goes down and comes away with the ball, well played. Yeah, it was brave goalkeeping, he didn't shirk the challenge, did he? Matuidi. Little... Piece of interplay between the two. Oh. 
Angel Di Maria. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. And now the shot. He's blocked the shot well. And in goes the cross. Mata. Uh, it's a gentle header, really, and uh, no threat to the goalkeeper. No, and he could have saved that with his eyes closed. Player right at him, but he's kept the ball well. Santi Cazola. That's a poor touch, and the possession's gone away. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Free kick now for Paris Saint-Germain. They've coped with it well defensively. And headed towards where a teammate can gather the ball. Well, it will be a throw-in. Live out Kuzawa. And here's the shot. And that shot's blocked very quickly. Theo Walcott. It's looking good, this move. Looking to play his teammate through. Safety first from the defender. Can't blame him for that. This Berin, and in goes the cross, punched away by the goalkeeper. It was good progress with this attack. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here, and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. And they've got to work hard to try and get it back. Goal kick here. forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here wonderful save Francis Coquelin Granani Chaka attacking now Coquelin they might open them up now. And he can take possession in his own half. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Gregor Krikowiak. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Santi Cazola. This attack got a bit of menace to it. Really on top of it. Got to be. Oh, well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. Julian Draxler. Edinson Cavani. Attacking well here. And the cross is in. Fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Granani Chaka. That's an infringement by Arsenal.
defender to it first. Referee's awarded the free kick for Paris Saint-Germain. Time and it's 1 0 here. Well, it's an unspectacular job, but it's been quite a, a recognizable performance, isn't it? Uh, the central midfield player today. I think in defense, he's done really well. He doesn't overcomplicate his game, does he? He does the simple things well, moves the ball on, not over ambitious and in possession. Well done. Arsenal had a good first half. Let's see how they fare in the second half now. Danny Welbeck. Good forward play from them. Matuidi. Gets his foot in there. Arsenal playing on. Referee choosing well not to stop the game. Aaron Ramsey. Here's a chance to attack. Rushing it here, moving from one side to the other. Cleared it well. Good passing here. Saw the goal and went for it. One, two, and having a little game of their own here. Now Motta. Let's put you in the picture regarding Paul Pogba and his deal done now. It's confirmed he has moved to Manchester United. Yeah, and I think that's a, a really good sign. And the fans are excited, maybe excited by the £85 million pounds figure that they're reading about too. It's been a very good game and the substitutes might be able to make it even better. We're going to get a change. Be dangerous. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Good play, but they've lost the ball now, and the opposition can get at them. And that passing is top class. Santi Cazola. Well, we're two thirds of the way through the 90 minutes, half an hour to go. Quick note for your diary, make a note of this particular date. EA Sports, we've got the presentation. Foul called against Arsenal. For the ref, a decision, and the decision is yellow. I don't think anybody, least of all the player, can have any complaints about that. Rash, Alan, reckless? Yeah, I think so. I think it was a poor tackle, it was badly timed. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here.
they cope with it well defensively. Supported there as he can head it on to someone who's waiting to receive it. Berati! Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. Referee is pointed for a corner. To be replaced by number 10, Javier Pastore. Well, there's going to be an alteration now, and with the team trailing, you can understand why he's going to make it. Morier! Keeper might be needed again, he didn't hang on to the ball. Tweedy. The referee, quite happy for Paris Saint-Germain to play on, he's waving them off. Well, they're in a good position here. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. Santi Cazola got on the ball in midfield, well read by... The player in that part of the pitch doing well to keep the ball. Got his shot off now. The defenders managed to get in the way there. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Possession given away once more. Santi Cazola. Aurier. Javier Pastore. There's some potential in this move. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. An example of excellent refereeing here. He delayed this punishment. He's going to show a card now. But he wanted that previous attack to at least find its natural conclusion. Yeah, he's one of our more, more experienced refs, isn't he? And uh, I like watching him go about his work and showed his experience there. It might be a good idea just to get a fresh player on and cement their position as they look to hold on to this lead. It's looking good, this move. Probing away, trying to find room for a shot, maybe. Aaron Ramsey. Hector Berry. Good forward play from them. Right from the beginning, we've never known which way this game is going to go, and it, it's kept its drama right to the last. And in a moment, there will be a substitution. reading of the by anticipating the pass they need to try and get the ball back now Gabriel Palista trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation it was good play until they got that challenge in number 17 Maxwell Paris Saint-Germain are ready to make a switch now
Yeah, Walcott. Well, here comes the support. Caught under no challenge by the goalkeeper. Just a flick on with the header. They've kept possession. Gabriel Palista. We're hearing there will be three added minutes here. Trying to find Di Maria. Still trying to find an escape route here. And it's a headed effort at goal. Good work by the goalkeeper. Well, he's put a lot into the game. I'm not surprised he's a bit tired. Nacho Monreal. On to the attack now. With the corner comes a possibility of increasing their lead here. Uh, attack is the best form of defence, they say. He's not going to be able to carry on. A substitute is coming on. Fist away by the keeper. And is it? And in the shot, go! That's a brilliant goal. And it's a substitute who scored. He's uh, definitely come on to try and do that. And he's made his manager very pleased. He looked the goalkeeper in the eyes and said, right, I've got the win here. And he's got the goal to show that. I love that kind of finish when you don't have to blast it as long as the placement is right. Starting at 2 0. Maxwell. And there we are, the final whistle has gone here. The referee's called a halt at 2 0. So this is the crowning of the winners receiving the. Asian Elite Cup. Yeah, always a cause for celebration when you lift a cup like this and you can see the joy on their faces. team photo and they're getting ready for it now yeah one of those lovely scenes that you'll hang on the wall back at home